There are tons of different ways you can grade a power supply. Rail setup, overall wattage, efficiency, quality components, etc. Today we'll be doing this as a thought experiment on the overabundance of wattage and will it help you overclock? And if so, by how much? Stay subscribed to Linus Tech Tips to see a future episode on how to do cable lacing, which will make your PC look pretty amazing. The Cooler Master Novatouch TKL utilizes genuine Topper hybrid capacitive switches and is now available at a more affordable price. Click now to learn more. To perform said thought experiment, we will be using IDA64's stress test functionality to push the CPU and Furmark to push the GPU. These programs should ensure that we have quite a bit of power generation from the various parts on our test bench. We'll use these programs to push our components as much as we can using each power supply in order to try to find that power supply's limit in a sense, and to see if having more wattage will directly result in higher overclocks or if the spacing between power supplies is high enough that getting a a power supply that can support your system will also just naturally support an overclock. For the test bench itself, we have an ASUS X99 Deluxe with a 5960X sitting comfortably in its socket. The 5960X will run in a range of 3, 3.1, 4, 4.1 gigahertz and stock at stock voltages and then 4.5 gigahertz at 1.35 volts. For graphics cards, I will be using an HD 7770, an R7265, an R927X, a GTX 770, a GTX Titan X, and dual GTX Titan Xs. These cards will be running at varying stock speeds and varying overclock speeds, and we'll be discussing how each power supply performed with them, but you can see their overclock speeds in the dock down below just in case. They're maxed overclock speeds. We're going to start off with a really low wattage power supply, a 300 watt SFX power supply from Silverstone. As far as I'm concerned, this is the little power supply that could. The first setup we tried on it was maxing out our HD 7770 and our 5960X, which it was somehow able to do. Seriously, this thing is rated at 300 watts, but was somehow comfortably pulling 375 watts from the wall. It even took an R7265 in stride, maxing it out, but starting to fail when we clocked the CPU above 4 GHz. With the GPU maxed out and the CPU at 4 GHz, it was pulling about 360 watts from the wall, again, comfortably. With the 270X, it was able to hit 1245 core clock, which isn't quite our max overclock, but it did do this while pulling 320 watts from the wall as well for the card. When, when we tried to increase clock speeds on the CPU above stock, the kind of crashed, which was kind of unfortunate, which ends the epic run of this power supply as it didn't manage to boot a 770 or Titan, which is fine. Next up, we have the bigger, older brother to our previous legendary SFX power supply, the Silverstone 450 watt SFX 80 plus gold. Fine up till 270X, which it did manage to boot with and was able to get a max overclock from the 270X, but I was unable to get anything stable from the CPU other than just stock. Just for fun, we have the Fantastic 450 watt power supply from my Scrapyard Wars machine. Uh, with the HD7770, we were able to max out the GPU and overclock the CPU to 3.1 gigahertz without any crashes. This resulted in a pull of 295 watts from the wall. Also something to note is that this power supply started to stink quite badly when we pushed it. Concerning at the least. But as the band Suicide Silence or even Drake would like to say, YOLO. I was able to max out the R7265 and yet again was only able to get the CPU to 3.1 gigahertz, which totaled a total of 320 watts from the wall. This is where things went downhill for the poor little power supply, however. It refused to boot with the 270X installed and actually never booted again on any setup, including ones that I had previously tested verified working after that. RIP, you crappy little power supply. RIP. Jumping up 100 watts, we have the Be Quiet 550 watt 80 plus gold power supply. This guy was able to max out everything until the Titan X setups, which it was able to do quite well actually. It was able to support a maximum overclock on the Titan X, but only 3.1 gigahertz on the CPU while pulling a total of 560 watts from the wall. Another 100 watts more brings us to the 650 watt Cooler Master power supply. This guy was totally happy to run everything maxed out and up to and including a single GTX Titan X, which it did while pulling 580 watts from the wall. It was able to boot a stock GPU settings dual Titan X setup 
and it was kind of fine until we put it under load where it unfortunately but expectedly crashed after a minute or two while pulling 680 watts from the wall for a few minutes. The Corsair AX850 watt power supply is up next with an additional 200 watts of power. This power supply is able to crank every setup to the max, but just barely throttled back on the max settings for dual Titan setup, resulting in a pretty solid clock, but not as high as I might have hoped. At a little itty bitsy step up, we have the Antec High Current Gamer 900 watt power supply, which was able to run everything at full without much trouble, but hit 875 watts from the wall while running dual Titan X's fully overclocked and while running the 5960X fully overclocked as well, cutting it a little close on that one, but being okay overall. Last but not least, we have our ludicrous level power supply, the 1200 watt Corsair AX 1200i 80 plus platinum, which as you probably guessed it, ran everything totally fine. And as everything was already maxed out, it didn't have any overclocking benefits to give. Now that was a lot of testing. And in conclusion, we have, I think a fairly expected answer. More wattage will help you get a higher overclock if your system is throttling or crashing due to a lack of wattage, but a massive overabundance of wattage won't actually have an effect on what potential clock speeds you're able to obtain if you're already hitting your maximum overclocks anyways. Is this any more to this discussion of what power supply to buy? Definitely, efficiency is a big one. And while this video was interesting, running your power supply at full tilt all the time is probably not the best idea ever but that will have to wait for another time. Speaking of settings, I'm excited to announce a very special drop on Mass Drop today. They're featuring the Vortex Poker 3, a keyboard that I think is absolutely gorgeous. It still has the Cherry MX switches and PBT keycaps that we saw on the previous Poker 2, but Vortex has stepped their game up pretty significantly on the Poker 3 by utilizing a much higher quality metal case and including more programming capabilities than we saw on the Poker 2. The drop has already unlocked its lowest price possible on Mass Drop because of how ridiculously awesome it is, in my opinion, and is currently available for 105 US dollars, a pretty significant discount off of the MSRP. The drop will be live at the drop.ps link in the video description for about 11 more days, but if you want to pick up one for free, we're actually hosting a giveaway on the forum for this unit that we have in the office right here for the next seven days. For details, they'll be available in the link in the description, which is the Linus Tech Tips link. Are there any other thought experiment videos you guys would like me to try out? Let me know in the comments down below or over on the forum. While you're here, like, dislike, favorite, subscribe, share, follow, comment, go to the description, find a shirt link for not this one. I know I wear this shirt a lot, but still can't get it. But you can get one of our funny shirts, so that's kind of cool. Over on the forum, you can see the support us link where you can do things like changing your Amazon affiliate codes, um, checking out our merch, seeing our other sponsors, installing the Linus Tech Tips notifier plugins for your browsers so that you can get uh, your Amazon affiliate codes automatically changed for you, or even becoming a contributor to the forum because it all helps out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.